Hello everyone. In today's quick tip, we're going to be looking at where to find extra help with Vetrix software. So a lot of times when you're using this software, you may find stuck when you're using a tool. So let's say for instance, maybe you were using the nesting tool and you weren't quite sure what all of these settings do. So instead of guessing, you can actually click this question mark at the very top of the page where it says, get help on this. And when you click that question mark, it will open up your web browser and it will show you the documentation straight from Vetric how to use that specific tool. So as you can see, you can read through this to learn more about that tool. Now, another thing you can do is at the very top of this page where it says single page, if you click on that, that will give you the entire user manual for the Vetric software that you're using. And you'll see this is a very long list of different things the software can do. So it may be a little bit overwhelming going through all of this, but you can search through this page by clicking Control F on your keyboard and you'll see a little search box will appear. So you can type in the keyword that you're looking for, let's say nesting, and it will tell you how many matches there are. So this one has one of 24 matches and it will highlight the word that you just searched. And then you can click the little arrow up or down to cycle through the page to find everywhere that keyword is mentioned. So this is one way you can get help with the Vetric software. But in order to get help this way, you need to know exactly what the tools you're looking for and what to search for. And sometimes you may not even know what you're looking for. So another great resource for getting extra help is different groups and forms. So this is one of my groups here called Vetric Tips and Tricks. And this is on Facebook. I will have this link down below in the description, but you can see we almost have 30,000 members currently, and you can ask all kinds of questions, post projects you're working on, and getting extra help with whatever you're working with. So this is a very great resource as well for asking questions and to just see what other people are using the software for. All right, and then if you wanna take your learning to the next level, the third and final resource is my Learn Your CNC Academy website. And you may have heard of this before and you may even be a member, but in here I have specific training on the software step-by-step step, and each step is in video format. And it also has written format underneath the lessons. So this will start you from an absolute beginner in the Vetric Master Training Course. And it will take you through the 2D design phase, the toolpath phase, then through the gadgets. And then if you wanna go into 3D modeling, there is the basics and advanced and then all the way up to the rotary lessons. So there's lots of step-by-step -step training that is very in-depth in the Vetric Master Training Course. And then I also have a live Vetric group training where we all jump in on a Zoom call for a one hour lesson and students submit their projects. And then I show you how to complete those specific projects and anybody can ask questions throughout the project. So that's another great resource. And when you sign up for that class, you have access to over 100 previous lessons that you can watch and download the files from. And then finally, I also have one-on-one -on -one training available. So if you ever wanted to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one class, you can go to my calendar on my website to schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me. And those are some different resources that you can use to get help with Vetric software. If you wanna learn more about the training I offer, I will have links down below in the description. And if you have any questions, just let me know.